Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. TSMC is the world's largest chip foundry. It has been updating its process nodes and expanding its market share, becoming the industry leader. Huawei is the world's largest supplier of communications equipment and a giant among smartphone manufacturers, but it has encountered the problem of chip supply cuts due to US sanctions and has had to suspend some of its businesses. The Chinese Academy of Sciences is China's highest academic institution, and it is dedicated to promoting domestic chip research and development innovation and breaking through technical bottlenecks and limitations. So who will win in this chip battle that is related to the future of the country and the fate of the nation? Is it really impossible to overtake on the curve? 1. TSMC has another breakthrough, and the 3 nanometer process will be mass-produced in 2023. It is reported that TSMC chairman Liu Dang said at the shareholders' meeting that TSMC will start mass production of the 3 nanometer process, N3, in the second half of 2023. And it is expected that the annual shipment volume in 2024 will reach 250,000 wafers. Liu Dang said that N3 is the only real 3 nanometer process in the world. Compared with the 5 nanometer process, N5, N3's performance has increased by 15%, power consumption has decreased by 30%, and logic density has increased by 70%. He also said that TSMC has begun to prepare for the 2 nanometer process, N2, and it is expected to start risk mass production in 2024. TSMC has become the world's largest chip foundry with its technological leadership and market advantages, and is also an important partner of well-known companies such as Apple, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA. In the first quarter of 2021, TSMC accounted for 55.9% of the global wafer foundry market, much higher than Samsung's 17.4%, which ranked second. In the 5G mobile phone chip market, TSMC also accounts for 54% of the share and is currently the only foundry that can provide 5 nanometer technology. TSMC's 3 nanometer process can make its leading position in chip manufacturing more stable and will also provide strong support for the development of emerging technologies such as 5G, AI, and the Internet of Things. 2. Huawei is in deep thought and Kirin chips may be out of print. In sharp contrast to TSMC's breakthroughs, Huawei has fallen into an unprecedented difficult situation due to US sanctions. Since 2019, the US government has repeatedly imposed export restrictions on Huawei and listed entities on the pretext of national security, preventing Huawei from obtaining chips and other key components from the United States and its allies. In particular, the latest ban that came into effect on August 17, 2020 prohibits any company that uses US technology or equipment to produce chips for Huawei from doing business with Huawei unless it obtains permission from the US government. This means that Huawei cannot get chips from major suppliers such as TSMC, nor can it buy chips from other third-party manufacturers. This is a fatal blow to Huawei. Although Huawei has its own Kirin chip series, it does not have the ability to make its own chips, so it has to rely on external foundries. The Kirin chip is the core of Huawei's mobile phones and 5G devices. Without the chip, nothing can be produced. After being banned by the United States, Huawei did not stop its efforts to develop its own chips, but instead increased its investment in chip design and manufacturing. In addition, Huawei has also strengthened cooperation with domestic chip manufacturers such as SMIC, hoping to rely on domestic technology and equipment to produce chips. A few days ago, 
Huawei Mate 60 came out with the self-developed Kirin 9000's chip, which was really amazing. However, the domestic chip manufacturing level is far behind the international level. Whether Huawei can achieve self-sufficiency in a short time is still a big unknown. 3. The Chinese Academy of Sciences is working hard to overcome difficulties, and domestic chips are expected to break through. Unlike Huawei, the Chinese Academy of Sciences is the highest academic institution in China. It has not only made achievements in chip design, but also made significant progress in chip manufacturing. Wang Ning, director of the Institute of Microelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said that the Chinese Academy of Sciences has completed the sample verification of the 7 nanometer process and plans to mass produce it in 2023. The 5 nanometer process has entered the research and development stage and plans to achieve mass production in 2024. If these processes are realized, the gap between our country and the international level in chip manufacturing will be narrowed, and it will also provide strong support for our country's information security and technological innovation. The research results and development plans of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in the field of chips show China's determination and confidence in strengthening national scientific and technological strength and ensuring national security. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has not only cultivated a group of outstanding chip talents for China, but also built a complete chip design and manufacturing system for China. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has also carried out extensive cooperation and exchanges with other scientific research institutions and enterprises to promote the development and innovation of the chip industry. Conclusion Looking at the situations and challenges faced by TSMC, Huawei and the Chinese Academy of Sciences in the chip field, we can understand that the chip industry is highly competitive and highly cooperative, and all parties must work together and support each other. Even if TSMC is technologically advanced, it cannot be careless and must guard against technology leakage and market saturation. Even if Huawei is suppressed by the United States, it cannot be discouraged and must strengthen independent research and development and engage in diversified cooperation. Even if the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made a breakthrough, it cannot be proud and must quickly transform and promote it. Only by doing this can we win the final victory in this chip battle that is related to the future of the country and the destiny of the nation. So, what do you think of China's catch-up and innovation in the chip industry? Are you confident about the future of Chinese chips?